Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and I would like to show you today how to add some context to the different reports that you have in Reports and Analytics and in the Analysis Workspace. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into the Admin Console, and I'm going to show you how to add an, a, a description to both your dimensions and your metrics. Here I have a report suite selected. I'm going to go into Conversion and then Conversion Variables. And in there, you'll notice that there is, for each of the conversion variables, a description field. So if I go ahead and click into one of these, I have a description for, the, for this UR. And so this one is my internal search term. And so what I'm going to put in here is this is the, uh, the keyword that is entered into the search box on my site. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this. And uh, I also want to add one to the event that's getting set. Um, so I'm going to come in here and do that now. I'm going to go into, again, conversion and then success events. And you can do this for any, any of the, the variables that you have, whether they be EVARs, uh, props, or events. Um, so I'll come in here and I'll add a description. And this, is, this event is set when ever someone searches let me just scroll over here searches on the site and then we'll save this and then I'll show you where they show up within the tool um, if I go back to reports and analytics and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll it shows up in a couple places. It shows up first in the navigation. So I'll come in here and I'll navigate to that to that variable. And that will be under my custom conversion. Here we go. And then I have a site, site ser, internal search term. And you notice that this, this variable now has a, a question mark next to it. So I can hover over it and see the description that I entered in. Um, notice that this one doesn't have a description because I have nothing entered in. And then when I click on the report, it actually shows up um, at the top of the report. And so you, you get the, the uh, information that you typed in as part of the description. Um, now, if I go ahead and add the metric that we were looking at, which was searches, um, not only does the description show up in the information icon there, but when I add it to the report, it also shows up in the, in the little help icon on the report. And you can see that right here. Um, so that hopefully helps give you some context in reports and analytics as to what this, this dimension or metric is. If we switch over to analysis workspace, those, those settings also apply there. Um, so if I go ahead and create a new project, and then I'm going to add in my searches uh, search term dimension. So here I can look at again the info uh, icon and it's the description is surface there and then if I add that to the report and add the searches metric I also get the searches uh, oops I gotta get the right one. Alright then I get the uh, the description there as well. Um, this should help you um, add, like you say add a lot more context to the reports and to the metrics and dimensions that uh, you're surfacing for your users and uh, it, it makes it a little bit easier to understand what types of what's going on with the data in reports and analytics.